Hello, ladies, chins, and hard workers ready to eat a meal and then veg out on the couch. This is the first video of many. I'm sure you'll fall asleep maybe to, I don't know, a van life video or maybe to the Y files of uh, some absolute nonsensical paranormal event that could easily be explained with a weather balloon. Either way, you are here to enjoy yourself, disconnect from the real world. Tell yourself you are much, much better than what you have actually accomplished. And just delude yourself into thinking at some point you'll accomplish something of worth. Here is Spelunky HD, ready to disabuse you of that notion. To destroy your illusions, your hopes, your dreams. That they are. <laughs> I think this is whippable, right? If you if you jump with the whip extended, don't quote me on that. But I didn't want to. I didn't want to test it. I just wanted to have the surefire trigger. And I think I'm going to be a very happy noodle to continue getting all kinds of money. And you may ask, you may wonder, you may fathom the idea like oh, what the hell you made it to a million the previous daily challenge i thought that the challenge was over i thought that we would get new and exciting spelunky related content of some sort maybe a custom a custom level maybe a new mod maybe even a revival of the randomizer because you particularly hate yourself I want to make sure that uh, you you share your own internal suffering with the world. Those things may or may not be coming. We can't. We can't. Bad Ams, Bad Ams too. He has an ill-conceived venture right here. Will I die though? Will I die if I do this? Let's find out. Ha! Ah! Feels great. Feels great when it works. Feels terrible when it don't. I am glad to have stolen every piece of explosives that man owned. Indeed, it was an ill-conceived ill venture to come into this place and think that he's going to make a profit. All he made was an early grave. Ha! Full of rage, full of anger, full of derision for filth. Of the egg leg variety. Let's just get that tor torch down there so I can go back for a shotgun. Make certain the future of this run is well assured. There is no danger going forward. Light up the place. Don't spider me. I don't see a spider, but you know, you know, never know what may be lurking in the shadows. Nothing but tranquility. It's just building up my confidence. That's what I'm doing. Probably the death that's going to happen in four. I mean, in <clears throat> two three. To the black market spawning an absolutely nightmarish situation where I am forced to fight for my life and lose. I hope that you're looking for. Holy crap, man! The number of explosives in, in this one are out of control. Whee! Oh, baby. Never gets old. Never gets old. All right. So uh, here we are going to start making some money. I shouldn't have put the bomb there because now I have no way to get back up there. All right, bud. How about you don't... Don't become... Yeah, you were definitely going to become angry. Uh, this is actually a bad situation, huh? Since the other guy... He owns so many explosives. We're gonna put a bomb there. We're gonna put a rope there. Oh, baby! <laughs> uh, may have panicked a little bit, but I think it was warranted. All right, all right, bud. Stop, stop losing your marbles. You are a major annoyance. It's gonna come over you, blah. There you go. And now the other one's gonna eat it from a distance. The other one was also at the bottom, so this should work. Unless he found himself. Aha! Perfect. 
Oopla. All right, all right. So we got some money. I mean, some explosives, which translates into money. So it's not a completely inaccurate thing to say. The rope situation, though, is insane. The rope situation is uh, unfortunate indeed. I guess I'll use one more and then no more. And we'll use the mad talk to get around everywhere. Get this shotgun next to the exit. Give me... Oh, well, that sucks. At least we didn't pick up both of them. Uh, we're gonna have to hurry. There's also a Kali out there, brother. This is just too much. Well, <laughs> that is absolutely triggered. Throw Jack right down there. Create a shortcut. Uh, it's a rough one. Just because it is so tortuous. Die. Huh. Yep, yep. There's a there's a shortcut for me. Look at me. Oh! Gained access to the top of the level. And two elite. There is indeed something worth going in here for. Yeah. Here I am, creating a situation from which. I really, I really shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> but this far, there you go. Actually worked out pretty well. Really didn't expect to get so deep in the weeds just in one dash three. Is this daily challenge feels like one of those anointed ones? One of those that, if you make it work, you could make two Barry and Dara. To go the, the ruby and the emerald, please. That will be great. Also, the sapphire at the top up there, but that's gonna have to come later. Son of a bitch. <laughs> what's, what's tunnel vision? You know, I had tunnel vision enabled. Jack jumped right out of my embrace, my death embrace, escaped <laughs> his fate. <laughs> These. Damn damsels, man, they're tricky. They whisper sweet nothings into your ear. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Don't want to have to spin a rope over there. Uh, they're like, oh, man, I'm so happy that you rescued me. Whoa, wow, well, uh, check out that shopkeeper corpse. Did you do that? You you are incredible. You are, you, sir, are a hero. Don't forget the... Gems that you're leaving all over the place, you better focus on that. Well, don't, don't, never mind me, and never mind me when I jump right out of your embrace, go out through the exit, never to be seen again. I'll blow you a very cheeky kiss on the way out, but by then you'll be just so glad to be out of here. Look, I won the diamond that this ghost is guarding. Alright, this level was a not as long as I thought it would be. Probably because we cannot see into the walls. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do one of these. So, do we keep the mattock? Yes. Because I am a greedy piece of garbage. And I cannot be stopped from mining, mind maxing. Hussah! I will take every chance I get to become rich. All right, buddy. Going through here. Been working all week long. Whenever I, I've said this before, I'm going to tell you again. Really? Really? This upsets me. Please. There you go. <laughs> Could have maybe used it against this Scorpio, but that makes no sense. All right, you did, and you have even more explosives. You got some climbing gloves, and this man owns. Oh, that's too bad. I wanted to use use the mad talk to murder this feller without worrying about it. Let's get ourselves the climbing gloves. Not trivial. Ooh. Just trying. It's focusing. I'm focusing. Okay. Don't. 
This dance player is str stressing me out. All right, if we come down this way, it's kind of a, you know what, you know what, you know what? This is what we're gonna do. Uh, that does not trigger him. Indeed, well done, well done. He's gonna walk this way. Well, actually, this is a great spot. Oh, what a pain. Eh, the second bomb will get him, don't worry about it. The second bomb did not get him. Let me throw this down there. All right, well, okay, that works. Gotta watch out. There is a rope bundle down there, so we can use one. Uh! <laughs> that son of a bitch actually had access to me. What a piece of garbage. All right, let's get uh, into this vault. If this bomb fails, could be a real nightmare, but we'll just spam oh spam the crap of these bombs it didn't work it worked out just fine everything comes up millhouse all right buddy uh we have uh, uh literally infinite bombs literally an infinity of bombs so we're going to work not so hard to get around the level and now that i have the the climbing gloves it should be pretty easy the problem being the scum lords at the exit but that is a self-solving problem as soon as i have my hands on a firearm oh wait 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 oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> i was going to go in there trap myself like a buffoon this feller is pissing me off oh wow they didn't realize that the bomb would not catch i hate to be squandering these explosives I do feel like they kind of have to have. Oh, it's getting here. Whenever the volume of video starts going down, you know I got caught. Oh, baby. Oh, well. <laughs> you know I got caught in the postal machine. The day job only allows me to do so much. And uh, I often, like, I haven't been scheduled to have a day off in months, but I often just take them when I feel like I deserve it, which is all the time. And that's when you get regular, regular videos posted. And I never respond well to threats or to intimidation or manipulation. One thing that will get me is if he asks me nicely, and damn it, those sons of bitches, those sons of bitches, yesterday were like, please, please, please come in. Ah, life is a ruin, and your presence will solve this terrible problem that we're having. Oh, well. Just uh, take some full damage here, strategic full damage. <laughs> very, very calculated, don't worry about it. Get me over here. Oh, we also can partake of Adam's beautiful bounty of saliva as he spits right in our mouth. Too bad Callie's not around. Okay, Adam, I give you permission to escape my grasp. Oh, this is a dead end, buddy. I want those rubies, but they are such a chore to get. Leaving the mines with almost 200,000. I am the anointed one. I am the chosen one. This feels like it's a needless risk. I'm a greedy piece of garbage. All right, there you are. Awesome. Anyway, went in. I blazed through my duties as assigned. Basically negotiated. A sweeter deal. I'll just show up, run my mail, and take no packages, and go home, even though it leaves in the table a few hours of overtime. You know, you know what I'm saying? Money in my pockets with postal money. Let's get out of here. 
I'm like, no, I want to go home so I have some time to record things like I normally do. People at, at my work, they don't know what I do. They don't know the kind of un unhinged maniac that I am. At home, they think I am a super normie that sometimes comes out with a new novel. I'm sure they all secretly laugh behind my back and my absolute failure to break out of the postal bubble. All my attempts to be an incredibly successful and famous author. I have tried nothing to promote my novels and I'm all out of the ideas. Am I in my rope? I guess we can just drop. There's no real reason to stick around here on the idol, which we can toss. Hussa! There's a dog ready to be rescued, but we have more pressing issues right now. I want this money. Mm. Oh, hello. Hello, you absolute maniac. Let me put a bomb here, and I guess we'll see this dog be collateral. Well, that's upsetting. Destroy! Alright, bud. Sorry, Major Stupid. You were caught in the crossfire. Another vault, huh? These, they are all over the damn place. And I have a bajillion bombs to make it happen. Okay, so is this guy... Can he get here? I really don't like this. Huh? You're gonna catch it? Yeah, baby! All right, there's another shopkeeper on the other side. All the way over here, and now we're gonna get into that beautiful pile of money. Maybe also get a ruby in the process, maybe? Maybe not. Don't really want to work at it that hard. All right, bud, you are an annoyance. Will the second bomb get you? Yeah! If you delay it long enough, it feels like they, they, will, they will just catch it with their face. Ah, I picked up the emerald there. It don't matter. It don't matter. We're good to go. Wow, well, the ghost is right here. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I wanted the sapphire to get ghosted as well. There you are. And I guess I'll use a rope. I can shock and jump, but it's too much. It's too much. Too much stress. Get this all the way. Nice, buddy. Nice. Uh, choice of firearms. I put them all in my satchel. We're going to go to the pawn shop and make the real fortune that way. Have you seen the price of ammunition? Get the shells out of the... Out of the chamber. The bandolier of ammunition. Get yourself some resales. Of those slugs. Impossible to find during the pandemic. When everybody was, you know, getting ready to kill their fellow neighbor. Everybody was buying ammunition. You couldn't find man-killing rounds. You needed to content yourself with birdshot. With pepper, they're not real nice. Won't kill a man, though. Alright, now we got ourselves a nice pile of money. And we carry on with great greed. Die! Die, filthy frog, die! Alright. There you go. Mm, only some of them at work know that I am, in fact, an auteur. I uh, dabble in the written word arts. Though I won't really, I'll research judgment getting those two gems from up there. Why am I carrying this nonsense? <laughs> like, oh yeah, let, let me optimize the position of this chest. Let me go back for my shotgun. Destroy the shopkeeper. Why would I do that? What I just did? I have no idea. Man. <laughs> just, I was just thinking. What? Fortune maxing. Ooh. Just grab it. Get myself that crate. I'm gonna help myself to it. Yeah. But you know, the thing is, I absolutely hate 
I hate it. I loathe it. I find it so terrible. And that's probably why most authors are ass. Well, at least the ones self-published, they're so obscure. Because the entire side of self-promoting, it is so anathema to my personality and who I am. Woo. Really? <laughs> it's always been a, a big challenge to actually shoot the piranhas. You really want to fish in style, do the ha Saddam Hussein method of throw a grenade into the pond. Let me just put a bomb right there to make my life a little bit easier. You can just shoot it right down range, baby. All right, murder is you. It's not just boasting. You're still alive, huh? You're an absolute chat. He's a powerful individual. All right, we did not get. I was about to say we did not get pings, but we did. It's right here. I have seven freaking seconds. Oh, I see it. I guess I'll dig up. Give me those diamonds right there. Mm, okay, nothing over here. I guess I could get that ruby, but I am not that greedy. It's too much work. Too much freaking work. I could also get a point of health. I don't want to work at it. I have put myself in a bad situation. How do I get around this bad situation? With gumption. With bravery. It's not just making posts uh, in self-promotion. It's also like going, navigating the entire, uh, just thinking about it is a drag. The whole creating ads Ooh. and paying for ads, you know, that investment, by all accounts, is a worthy investment. What am I doing? You will get back what you put in, but the entire endeavor of creating an advertisement, targeting it properly, all the menus, selecting wine aunts that stay home from 5 to 7 p.m. that are sometimes inclined to pick up a book in their downtime, but only on Fridays. What am I doing, brother? throw a few explosives that way hopefully take care of this shopkeeper shape problem <laughs> all right bud excellent job excellent job my life is solved with this jetpack <laughs> they do exist jetpacks indeed exist in the world of spelunky freaking jetpack and a pickaxe absolutely outrageous seed this daily challenge is badass. Please, Belinda, you need to let some of these bullets go through. I know that you like it rough. You enjoy it when you get a face full of lead splooging all over your face. But check out this, check out this drive. Kabumo. But anyway, that's why I'm going. That's what I'm going to blame my complete obscurity and not on my talent or lack thereof it's just that I am a complete zero I'm marketing myself that's it it's not about quality it's about getting eyeballs I suck ass at it that's what I'm going to tell myself forever until uh, I am in my deathbed thankful for the seven readers that I got. Please, get me out of here. Anyway, it may happen sooner than you think. Being able to do daily videos again, maybe even two videos a day. Everything, it's, it's in the cards. There are things in motion. The gears are turning. They did. The gears are turning. Plans 
are in place. It's all a matter of everything aligning as it's supposed to. I will keep you posted. We'll see. We'll see what, uh, what comes out of my lofty ambitions. Maybe I need to put my ambitions to rest. But no. Not yet. Not without a fight. Trying to find more places to get myself money. What a daily challenge. This, is, this seed is absolutely incredible. It's not to say that uh, it's in the $2 million range, but truly, I think a thing of beauty. Can't need that, please. I missed it completely. What an absolute buffoon. Okay, give me that one. Of course, today, I have limited time. Of course, I will get the excellent seed on the day that I have limited time to do this. Couldn't be any other way. I may need to pause and then come back to it. This is not going to work. Uh, come back to it five hours from now. Hope that there's not a power outage. Give me that money. I mean, it, for all the incredible virtues of this seed, we don't have that much money just yet. Also because, you know, I've been fairly incompetent at it. There's also a bunch of gems down here. Uh, nothing here, though. Real that garbage! <clears throat> so we're gonna spend quite some time here. In the black market too. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Just asking for trouble. But the intent is for this Matok to get depleted. Please. There you are. Mm, not how to do anything else. Go for with a firearm. Destroy all the opposition. I'm feeling pretty proud of myself, though. Pretty proud of myself. Not because of this Spelunky shenanigans. I have single-handedly redeemed pea soup for my wife. I claim 100% of the credit. I am from the Canary Islands, you see. I am a Canarian. And in the Canary Islands... There is a dish. It's called arvejas compuestas. It is a pea stew, pretty much. And the deliciousness of this pea stew, and it, I'm telling you, is mainly just peas that taste good. Yes, I too doubt this, asser uh, uh, this assertion. If I were in your shoes, I would be like, uh, excuse me, sir, peas inside a pot? They cannot be made to taste good. That's the thing that you eat when it's either the soles of your shoe or the pea soup. That's the thing that you resort to. I'm telling you, bud. I'm telling you. Absolute deliciousness. You chop up an onion, you chop up a pepper, you chop up three cloves of garlic. You simmer that down until it's nice and soft. You add a can of tomato soup. Not tomato soup, tomato sauce. Uh, before that, you put in a bunch of strips of bacon, like chop that nicely. Get it uh, all to get, mix in flavor. Then you add the tomato soup. Then you put in the thyme, the oregano, the turmeric, with that spicy, beautiful color, the paprika. Put a lot of it. Don't be shy. Just put a bunch of it in there. And you put in there one... One... Spoonful of salt to taste. It's hard to say what you're gonna do if you're just dumping in there 800 grams of peas. About one tablespoon. A little under a table, tablespoon will do you. And you let that warm up. And then you add the frozen peas right out of the bag. Just dump it in there. It's not a big deal. Because then you bring that back up to a boil. And you let that cook for however long the bag says. Maybe 10 minutes, maybe 5. Et voila. You have a delicious pea stew. 
you can add at the end. This is optional, but greatly improves it. You boil a bunch of eggs, you quarter them, and you add most of them to the pot. It'll make that yolk nicely dissolve. And give the stew a little bit more heart. All right, all right. Also, fry potatoes. You can dice some potatoes and then fry them up beforehand. You can do it in the air fryer. You can oven bake them. Basically, you just add potatoes to your stew in any way that you like it. Traditionally, you do it fry potatoes. You know, you, you put them in a pan with a moderate amount of oil and you fry them up. Don't deep fry. You can deep fry them. It's no, no big deal if you deep fry them. But it's perfectly reasonable to just fry the potatoes. Anyway... This will yield absolutely delicious results. I too was very skeptical. I grew up this with this dish, and it was never my favorite dish, but it was always good. Please, uh, how about you die, you filthy creature? Anyway, there like there's no joke at the end of this. It's, I'm just telling you a recipe. <laughs> I have nothing to tell you, and the story around it why it's actually a redemption of peace in my wife's eyes it's because she as someone who grew up dirt poor and I do mean that literally she wallowed in the dirt growing up in the Alaskan tundra as a part of a gigantic homestead I don't even want to say more because she's it's actually been in the news, these people. <laughs> the size of this giant homestead. And, uh, you know, there's been, like, TV things. You could even dig in YouTube and find it. I don't think she shows up in it, but... Uh, I've said too much! I've said too much! My stalkers are right now getting catching wind of... of everything that's transpired. But anyway, dirt poor, you know, going to the food bank for money, for food kind of thing die please die a terrible death you filth <laughs> I want you dead this man is still alive by the way and here I am just being a dumbass I have only two points of health I I'm here operating like I am in Spelunky 2 I have infinite health no such thing finally he's dead holy crap what a chore filthy scum lord Anyway, wife grew up in abject poverty, and one winter, all she had to eat, like literally, all winter long, every single day, pea soup, potatoes, pea soup, potatoes, that was dinner, pea soup, potatoes, and it was not the, the delicious kind of pea soup that I just described to you. The, the kind of pea soup that comes out of a three-gallon tank and it's just a slop when you pour it out of a ladle. You know, she's always been thankful that they have food at all. <laughs> but uh, ever since I met her, she was like, never. I'm never touching peas ever again. Peas are the work of the devil. They're the, like, I consider celery the devil's vegetable. She always regarded peas and pea soup. Actually, she enjoyed peas now, now and then. It's the pea soup part that was a total deal, deal breaker. I'm trying to get some. Well, it jumped right under my face. Ah, just grab it. Just freaking grab it. Of course, we want this idol. Give me that thing. Mm -mm -mm. And now. It is literally her favorite dish. Her favorite dish. El Blargo's Arvejas Compuestas. She cannot possibly pronounce that, but, you know, the, the pea stew that I like. <laughs> she will request it. Get out of here, right? We're good. Wonderful. We got the damsel through. Need to stop squandering my health. It's truly idiotic, the amount of health that I have lost. And we are now in the ice caves. 
already blew it. I already blew my topic of conversation. That's the entirety of the story that I have for you. The, the pea soup story that may completely revolutionize your life. From now on, it will just be a commentary of, here's the gem, let's ghost it. Get murdered. Get murdered. Going back to the entire... Uh, not responding to threats, but I can be totally guilt-tripped. It is true. Uh, I sometimes have some decent bravado. I will speak my mind. If somebody gets up in my face... I am pretty good at asserting myself. It's when they play that sympathy card, when they're like, oh, please, please, please. I I will be a chump every time. They may be thoroughly manipulating my ass. And uh, I may even be aware that they're trying to manipulate my ass. And I'll still fall for it. Because I'm a nice guy. I'm such a nice guy. Let's open all this garbage. I am such a nice guy. Such a nice guy, John. Check me out, how I save you. Save you right there. Psych! <laughs> Get wrecked, idiot. I really could have used the health that he had to give. But everything for... Everything for the gag. I embrace violence. The more needless... The more hilarious. Give me this. Mine. That's what's in my mind lately, like work and writing. That's what's in my mind because it's all I've been doing. Because I write during my work breaks. That's basically my writing time. It amounts to about an hour a day. You know, it's slow progress, but it happens every single day. It's a habit. Sometimes I'll pick up, if I'm particularly excited about it, I will pick it back up at home. Most of the time, I'll just be sitting in a mail truck typing away. Typing away on that, that laptop. Um, so it's all I've been thinking about. It's all that I can tell you about. Hey, I worked a bunch and I, then I, I wrote a bunch. I have this problem, man. I have this problem where I love to start new things and never follow up on things that I have done. Eternal deserves... A freaking sequel? Jane Witchbane is a novel that must be written. The Lana Tarragon memoirs. There's plenty more where the first one came from. That one's almost like fully formed in my head. I just need to get around to typing it out. But uh, what am I excited about? Something completely different. <laughs> Something completely different. The totally new... Pile of lore, hidden magical world of really occult stuff. If you are uh, a long time aficionado, you may remember a video in my other channel called The, the Road to Vengeance, or The Path, I forget which, uh, The Road or The Path to Vengeance if, is paved with wounds. And man, am I excited about that entire narrative. It's absolutely awesome. I will absolutely endeavor with that one to not put a, a, any opening for a sequel. Like, I do enjoy open endings, but I will absolutely not sequel bait in any capacity. I like leaving a narrative open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's upsetting. I like leaving an ending open because I think it's great when you finish a book and it's not like, oh, okay, that was a great ending. Let me move on to my life. I think it's so much better when you finish a book and it leaves you thinking about it for days and days and days. Like the ending was good. No, we don't want this here. We Let's just pile them up somewhere. The ending was good, but it is an ending that makes you think about all oh, what happened next about the entirety of the experience that happened after the ending so i'm a big fan of that 
So the ending one for this one will be no different. But I will absolutely not sequel bait in any way. It will be a fully formed, no extra novels on Maven's, Maven's Adventures. Of course, it accepts more stuff in this world that I am creating. Just pulling incredible world building right out of my asshole. It's absolutely gorgeous stuff. The main goal is just to make it weird. Make it as weird and original as I can make it. Try to go far ahead and beyond in the realm of imagination. Stuff that you read it and you're like, what? What? <laughs> How do you come up with this? I want it to be weird. I want it to be slightly disturbing, but not off-putting. I feel like that's kind of becoming a bit of a brand or a bit of a theme. Seems to be like my voice. A little disturbing, but not off-putting, hopefully. <laughs> because there's some, some real messed up things happening. It's like a very serious, very, very uh, self-important. Trying to find a place to put this where it will not uh, be a problem. There you are. Oh, baby! We got a Kapala. And the ghost is here to make me rich. Let's get all these damn gems ghosted. <sighs> this is one of those daily challenges. And the, the jetpack makes it so that I am extremely unlikely to fail. It is very possible I will fail, but the jetpack makes it so much more reliable to get everywhere. That is like, it shall be some funky bout of incompetence. It won't be just regular spelunky gameplay where like, oh, well, you know, I had the climbing gloves and uh, nothing else. So navigating the level was kind of hard. Got myself stuck in a spot, ghosted to oblivion. No going to be some seriously stupid way to die if I die with a jetpack, spring shoes, climbing gloves, everything on. I guess we're, I'm saying look forward to uh, an appearance in hell. Hopefully it will work out. Man, will that, that city of gold get absolutely obliterated with this amount of bombs. I do need to kill myself next level though. Let's not forget about suicide with benefits okay we're good there really was not much money to be made here but we are up to 500k which is not amazing you would think that after all the good stuff that we found we'll have be close to the million in fact there has been times i think the earliest was the mothership right i've gone to the mothership being like, holy crap, a million dollars already. On the really, really good seeds. Oh, that's right, we have the Kapala. Harvest some blood, but it doesn't matter because we must end our lives. You did. This vault shall yield another pile of money, a down payment on a mansion. These days, it's just a down payment. You're gonna get about a hundred thousand, almost. That's a down payment on a freaking shack. The way those prices have gone, and please, I hope that the housing prices pl prices continue going up. I got a house house to sell, baby. Hundred percent selfish and war uh, <laughs> just self interested in saying that. Please, markets don't crash just yet. Wait until I sell my property that I bought when I was 20 years old. No, I was, uh, let's see, let me let me make some, make some numbers. Got married 2005, we got the house 2009. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot how this come, Lord, holy crap. <laughs> uh, the Moahead is in this level, what is, what is going on, where is it? Ah, there it is. How the hell did I space it? And uh, at the time it was a damn good, what we thought was a pretty damn good interest percentage, which was 
in the middle of the time that we've had it, they dropped down to like 2%, something silly like that, and now they skyrocketed to, to freaking hell and back. Uh, you know, you go so far into heaven when you skyrocket that you go around and go straight to hell. That is how deep into despair the mortgages have gone and the prices of everything. The housing market, like, it's, it's so obvious that everything's gonna collapse at some point. <laughs> but please, not yet. I need to sell this house, make my profit. It's the benefit of not having children. You get to put away money. You get to actually pay off your mortgage and then put money away. Got a paid for house by 2009. Like I'm talking about this well aware of the state of things out there. I'm not trying to like, you know, brag, put it, rub it in your face that, hey, look at me. The boomer owning a house that is completely paid for and now I can stand to sell for making a nice chunk of change and then use it to perhaps move to a much lower cost of living kind of place like uh, for example the Canary Islands but that is not to say that you know I, I, I absolutely see how nightmarish the landscape has become I guess what I'm saying is I ate shit for 20 years I ate to get where I'm at financially I did it eat shit for 20 years or so it was not a, an easy ride I was like but I realized that I ate shit your shit that you are eating right now it has mushrooms growing in it and hot pepper pellets. And you sometimes bite into that for uh, periodically. And also, the mushrooms got to give you diarrhea. That is the kind of uh, experience today in the labor market, especially if you are trying to make ends meet with progeny of your own and stuff like that. So it's a rough time out there. But I was no boomer that bought a house for seven dollars and now can sell it for seven hundred thousand. That my saving grace, I would still be in debt if, I mean, you call that saving grace. You know, my it's just life circumstances, just the ha the hand we were dealt. Got no kids with the wife, so you know, instead of we spent it on video games, great computers, there was a lot of money to uh, to spare. That's where. <laughs> That's where it went to pay off a freaking mortgage. We're boring people like that. And now we may stand to to really reap the benefits of a lifetime of labor. And boy, does my wife deserve it. I uh, I've told you now already. She grew up in abject poverty. I came in, Prince Charming, absolute Chad. Paid off all her debt. I did that. We met online. I was the creator, the writer of a mod that she really loved for some reason. I mean, it was abysmally written. She was really into it. I quote unquote hired her to do play testing for the next one. She never tested a damn thing. We just talked for hours. And then I charmed her off her pants. And here's where we're at right now. Holy crap, I'm going to punch it right there. Here's where we're at right now. But she took a chance. That's why, you know, that's why I'm a loyal bitch. That's why I'm a loyal bitch to the end. Because this woman, she did not wait until I was done with the race and then share in my winnings. She, uh... She struggled alongside me. I turned right around. It's like she saw my potential. She saw my potential. And in like in five years or so, I had uh, worked enough to pay her debt. Just patting myself on the back right now. 
making sure that you know how much of a virtuous person I am. It's very important that you think that so that, you know, when the news breaks out, when the police give all the reports, it really catches you off guard. I want to go out with a bang, you know. I want really to catch people off guard. Like, Holy crap, we had no idea. He did what? He did what with people's livers? He had how many penises hanging from the rafters? It's going to be just amazing. <laughs> Too bad I won't be around to. I won't be around to enjoy. Oh. Because, you know, I'm telling you, going out with a bang. Anyway. <laughs> this is the YouTube algorithm smart enough to catch stuff like that i doubt it it's so deep in the video like all their concern is the beginning woe is you if you say even this if you say something as innocuous innocuous as kill in the first seven seconds of your video demonetize to hell but i can go at length about the merits of cooking people's livers uh, with either white or, or red wine and uh, just going to the most unhinged, horrendous topics. Eh, algorithm doesn't care. It's not in the first few minutes where people click off the video and we can get an apocalypse going on again. Doesn't matter. It, when it's 50 minutes into the video, it's only the super nerds that already know what you're about that totally get. But wink wink i'm not really serious right <laughs> we gotta keep that we gotta keep that narrative alive of course i'm not really serious about what i'm saying gotta make sure that everybody's aware of that gotta watch for this filthy specter oh yeah oh did you guys hear that do you guys hear that my phone just went off there is a message taking a look taking a look on my way home on my way home and here I am, 50 minutes into the ice caves. What do you think I'm going to sit here as my wife comes home with a bunch of groceries and probably dinner? And I'm like, oh, just do, wait a minute, let everything get cold and deal with it yourself. I got a spelunky run to finish. Are you freaking serious? She will be like, okay, fine. Because she's cool like that. I'm not going to do that though. So it's going to be... I'm gonna just stop the recording. I'm gonna pause it and I'm going to hope. And if you get a 50 minute to an hour Spelunky video, well, you know what happened. You know exactly what happened. I want the shotgun. We have no shotgun, that's right. The shotgun, it is at the bottom of this pit. There's some more life for you, Callie. Do with this flesh as you may. I have a few recipes to suggest. Please refer to the to the 51 minute mark where I was talking about cooking people's livers. All right, we get out of here. We're done. Moving on to the to the mothership. So anyway, when the wife says she's coming home, that means she's about whoop, she's about 20 minutes away. Because we do we don't live in the boondocks, you know. The, we're definitely not in town. So it's a 20 minute commute every day. There and back. That is how much we got. To make something happen, maybe I will mistake. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> maybe I will make a fatal mistake and kill myself right on time. Who knows? It is in the back of my mind. How many alien lords do you got? <laughs> what? I swear it was not on purpose. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I got tunnel vision with the alien lord and the bomb and the queen's blast and my brain, my synapses all snapped. There was no thought going on other than this is a bad situation. Wonder how I'll get out. I guess I won't. And now I'm dead. It's going to. <laughs> Hey, number one, but it's pretty early in the daily challenge. I'm sure the poop store is ready to take my place. Oh, Turbar Mark, what a loser. You got to 
5-4 with this kind of score? Shame on you, Turbobark! Absolutely pathetic. For shame. All of you guys are understandable. Very understandable. You know, you die early, you don't have money. But what is this, Turbobark? Come on, you can do better than this. I spent it better on you. You better surpass me, you people out there. There's no way. There's no way. You can only get a 741,000 in the ice caves. I want to see a 3 3 death that surpasses this month, this this amount. And I definitely want to see more people above unwashed. Or else. <laughs>